What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Sam Pride and I'm back with another video and I'm explaining to y'all how to maintain your starter logs, dreadlocks, whatever, it don't matter. For me, I've been doing my logs for about five months. I first got them locked September 11th, 2020 and it's February now so it's been five months. It's been a grip and I have made some progress but I'm still not fully there where I really want my hair to be so far. So I'm gonna tell y'all what you guys need to do to maintain these do's and don'ts. And right before I start this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, comment below what video ideas you want me to do next regarding my hair or anything else in general. Let's get it. Break the rules. rules. How they come here to lose? Uh, first, first day of school. school. Diamonds wetter in the pool. Oh, don't play around, don't play around, don't play around. Let me start you off with your first do. What you want to do with dreadlocks, locks, starter locks in general, you want to wash it. I know they tell you when you first start off, you're not supposed to wash it because you know it's gonna mess up the pattern. It's gonna mess up, you know, the area or how it is. But you maybe leading to three months after it's in you want to wash it about once every couple weeks and once you get it done they're gonna wash it for you anyway if you have your like if you have a dreadlock lady or a starter lady they do it for you but on your own time you want to get water onto this probably after the third or fourth month of you growing this you want to wash it about once every couple weeks see what you don't want to do is go to sleep and not cover your hair with nothing like don't if you just go to bed with your locks or dreadlocks and you don't cover it you're setting yourself up for failure because you're gonna mess this shit up i'm i'm not even gonna lie to you say for example like hold on every night i use a do-rag to go to sleep to cover my locks so they're protected they can be matted so nothing so none of the locks like unravel or the coils get messed up or for example hold on one more time you can use a bonnet you know easy to put on just like that, cover it up. Do rag, bonnet, scarf, satin pillowcase. If you don't have a satin pillowcase, these are your best investments. You can get the do rag at a local beauty supply store for like three dollars, three, four, maybe five. Bonnet, same thing. It's cheap. Always cover your head, cover it up good, tie it around, and you will be straight. Or if it's really, really cold outside and you don't want nothing, you know, you don't want your head to be too cold, you can use a beanie hat like this, you know, slide that on. You're good. Just like that. And make sure, make, make sure y'all put oil in your hair. That's another do. Make sure you put oil in your hair. If you can't do it every day, do it every other day, you know. This oil I got is called Man Jamaican Mango and Lime Island Oil. You know, just to soothe and moisturize the scalp, nourishes from roots to ends. Right here, if you can see it. I put this on every other every other day. I didn't put it on today, so I'm gonna just show y'all what I do with this. Not too much, and I just go all the way around. I go down, in the back to the side simple don't put too much on it's gonna help your locks it's gonna get them tight and it's gonna have your hair smelling good too just like so easy as hell anybody could do it girl guy make sure you keep filling it in get the scalp a little bit just like that these are i got this at my local beauty supply store there's only about it's like four dollars like this is cheap to maintaining dreads maintaining dreads to me is the cheapest part like actually getting them done is can be outside of some people's tax bracket but i hope y'all y'all figure this out like i hope you guys figure it out what you don't want to do what else you don't want to do with these dreads with your starter logs is you don't want to always touch them like while you're chilling like you don't want to play around with them you don't want to pull them down you're gonna mess up the structure you're gonna mess up the form Gonna mess, you're gonna mess up how the complex of your hair is. You're gonna mess it up. You wanna leave it alone for as long as you can. Don't try your best not to touch it. The only time you should be touching your locks is if you're applying oil, you're about to go to sleep, putting your do rag or bonnet on, putting your hat on, or if you're just shaking whatever's in your hair, or if you're in the shower, you just wanna get something out. That's the only time you should be putting your fingers or your hands on your locks. True shit, like, because if you always play with it, you're just gonna mess it up. Like you're gonna mess up the form, you're gonna mess up the coils, you're gonna mess up the twist. 
it's gonna take a so much longer for your hair to lock like i'm telling you another don't i know this may sound ridiculous is stop looking at the mirror like i'm talking for my new dreadhead starter locks like stop looking in the mirror stop doing all this oh shit like oh nah nah like stop doing that because if you keep looking at the mirror and anticipating hair growth your hair, your dreads and hair in general, it's not going to grow in five minutes. Like, especially with dreadlocks or locks in general, this is a process. Like, I first got my shits locked in September, and I thought it was going to come crazy in four or five months. Four or five months later, I'm still kind of at the same length. Yes, it's growing, but I realized that this is going to take time. This is a process. You just got to be patient. Once you stop looking at the mirrors, take all the mirrors away, and you stop stressing about how your hair looks compared to other people's locks and all that, you'll be good. And then when you realize your hair is long enough, you will stop caring and your hair will just start growing. Like, don't worry about it. Everything is a process. Like everything's a process. Nothing happens overnight. Just like working out, bettering, your, bettering yourself as a man or woman. Everything takes time. Trust me. Like when you're doing this, like this locks, you're taking this risk. It takes time. I've knew it since September and I still know it now. These will take a long time and I'm down for the journey. I don't really care. I'm down with it. I like this style and I'm telling you you're just gonna have to wait and be patient make sure you retwist your hair if you don't have a stylist to do it yourself just get one strand like this just do that and clip it down you'll get used to it take you about two months me personally i got my hair retwisted at a salon once every two months i used to do once every month but i realized that if you keep retwisting it too much it takes a longer time so for me i just do it i'm going once every couple months and that's gonna that's like a better investment for me because i don't want to just throw my money out there all the time when i'm getting these done because this is an expensive expensive style expensive process so you want to do this retwist once every couple months and you'll be good but yeah those are all my tips main thing is have fun with your log journey your starter logs your dreads no matter how long it is how short it is because i do i heard from multiple people that once it gets really really long it's very draining to take care of it's harder but i'm with it i'm just want to know if you with it so basically have fun do what you got to do you know do what you want with them take this advice or not but hey man i'm here to help as usual, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what other tips you want to hear of my dreadlock journey or whatever tips you want for this. I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.